Hey, do you hear that? Nothing. I found the batteries. Alright, so, whoa, voice cracked apparently. What's up guys, it's Daz here. But you don't really care because we're in World 4, so we have one galaxy shouting new at us, so I say let's go visit it, unless we've got a second one to go to, which I don't think we do. No, we don't. Oh, no, we do. We have Starshine, which I... Looking back, it actually looks like uh, the change of ones in before it, but oh well. Let's play. Second star, climbing the cloudy tower. Back to the realm of Super Mario Sunshine we go! Yeah, but actually, is that the exact same seagull sound effects they used in the, fir in the, in the first yes. game in Sunshine? I don't know. But suddenly we're not in a... We're not going straight down into it, we're in a magical floating water ball in the sky. I guess it's even, it's even got the reefs from Super Mario Sunshine. It's all just a big reference, right? I'm, I'm sure that's what they were going for. Alright, so now we're actually back to the start. Hello, you have anything to say this time around, Mr. Pianta? We're holding out our strongest Pianta tournament, so everyone is busy looking burly. So, here comes the reintegration of the Heave Ho Chucksters. I don't know why I said Heave Ho Chuck Heave Ho Chuck Chucksters, they're just Chucksters. Is my depth perception really that bad? Come on, there we go. So yes, I'm a Chuckster is all back again, and they love throwing people about. So you're going to use that to get up the tower, but I'm actually going to do a bit of exploration first, because why would they, what's what's over here? I should know this, let's do this, whoa, that's not where I would expect to go, but okay. So what we want to do, as you can probably imagine, is we want to get up that tower, but we can't do that right now because, well, Cloud Mario can't touch water and we have to get over there somehow. So, to do that, we need... Actually, I thought we'd need something else first, but apparently not. And that Pianta over there sort of disappeared for a moment because of the, uh... Distance thing. What's that called? I forgot what it's called. I should know these things. It's not depth perception. It's like... I don't know. I just want to take everyone... I just want to... Yes, I want to... Okay, what do you say? Huh? Neither of you got me to the tree, I had to spin to actually get there. You're both failures as chucksters, I hope you know that. And you both have the same strength. Yahoo! Okay, there we go. On the lily... Um, okay. Is it obvious I'm tired? I'm actually not that... I don't think I'm that tired, but apparently I am. Let's see, I... That one's inactive? Okay. So you can't actually, I believe, you can't jump on these clouds while you're not Cloud Mario. Because you, they just sort of... Well, you've missed completely, for some reason. So we need to find a cloud power-up first, and I thought it was nearby. So, hold on, I'll be right back, I need to find this thing. Okay, so what we need to do is, the a Pianta I just talked to, he hinted about there being a new entrance to this tower at the bottom of the ocean. Even though this isn't much of an ocean, it's more of a lake. Well, I guess it's got life in it. Well, I guess any body of water can really have life in it if you tried hard enough, but yes. So now, unlike last time, we can actually get up here and getting on this mini launch star if I'm actually close enough to it. There we go. It takes us to the top and I would hope it actually gives us a power up. It's obviously something important. Oh, I am not doing so well. There we go. Somehow pressing a button makes a cloud appear. Okay. And you can take the bubble right to it. you think that would hurt, but apparently not. Alright, and now just don't touch the water. Use your lily pads. I think it's quite interesting though how this one galaxy is able to make quite a few references to Super Mario Sunshine. I mean, you've got the general beach location, you've got Piantas, you've got... I guess actually these can be flood references as well, because you've got things spouting water. You've got the lily pads, and there was other stuff, I swear, I just can't remember it right now. I Pretty sure I mentioned it being relative to Super Mario Sunshine, but oh well, it doesn't matter. What does matter is we're finally at the top after a lot of faffing about, and there we go. Uh oh, someone's followed us. Is it a Pianta that's followed us? That would be my first guess. 62. And star bits, yes, yes, and coin. Two coins, you really had to do a... Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Got yourself a pretty cool cloud thingy there. Looks like some fun. 
Try to stay grounded! Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, yeah, so even though for some reason most of the power-ups go inside of Mario's head, the cloud comes out here. Why? I don't know. And I'm not really sure if it has any function other than to just entertain you because I would generally, like if, if I could, I would use it to get super high and then go first person, but when you're on a cloud, you can't, so it's just sort of a waste. I don't think there's anywhere in particular that you can go to, so yeah. But I guess if you wanted to run around a bit and float, that's an option for you now. So yeah. Now we're gonna go on to a galaxy I really was not looking forward to. Uh -huh. It's Chomp Works Galaxy. Star One, where the chomps are made of gold. Sounds fun. I like gold. Don't squish it, but it's very expensive. You can sell it for lots of money. I'm going to enjoy this level. No, I'm not. At least, if it has as much, if it gives me as much trouble as the practice file did, I'm not going to enjoy it. So, seems pretty nice right now. You've got a couple mechs and some op doombas, but they're not too bad. Just flatten them and they're all done. Just plus, the chain shops aren't really much of a hassle because, well, they're just sort of rolling to their death and I don't know why I thought you were an enemy. I apologize. Another day in the chomp works. Let's get those chomps down here. Okay, I can do that, even though I don't really want to. I'm in charge of keeping the area around this hole clear. Move along. Uh-huh, and you little buddy. If you got time to talk, if you got time to charm, to keep the charms rolling. You you could have used something clever, but you, you chose not to. Okay. So, the way this works is, first of all, there's a comment medal here, which I... Wow, I was going to backflip to it, but if you're just going to... Well, that works too. So what you need to do is you need to plan their path. Hitting that makes the thing go down, and for this, you have to step on it and weigh it down. And then... It goes into the hole. And what happens when a ball goes into a hole? A star appears. Don't ask me where that logic comes from. I have no idea. Now that was the easy part. Here comes the part I had so much trouble with. Although it's not quite this galaxy, like this mission, but this place gave me a lot of trouble in the past. What's he doing? I don't know, but he's just gonna take a chomp straight on. Bring it on, give me your worst. So yeah, for whatever reason, this mech's deciding to... I don't know, he's in a bad mood and decided to whack himself with a jump? I don't know. But yes, this place gave me a ton of trouble in the future, but we'll hear about that news soon enough. Okay, now I'm rich. The coins don't mean anything to me, but okay. Unless there's a coin luma here, but I don't think there is. There we go, 36 coins. Thank you and goodbye. That's the same sound effect from Sunshine as well. Jeez, but then maybe that's just because like Nintendo likes to reuse their sound their uh, sound effects. Maybe it might not just be. Yeah, well, it won't be a reference to Sunshine in this case because it's just it's not even a reference to Sunshine at all. This galaxy. Anyway, once again, we need to plan plan the path. Hitting the switch makes them appear, and the cutscene makes it. Oh, actually, I was gonna say the cutscene makes it so this one has to die, but he doesn't. So now we just need to do a bit of weighing. There you go, flip on over. I'll flip that for you, I'll follow you along, and boom. That was difficult. I keep trying to complain about this galaxy, but this one's not too bad. It's the next one. Although actually, no, this one's pretty, this bit can be pretty bad. At least it will be later, trust me. Oh god, I hate this place later. Right, hitting the switch makes that go up. That'll be good to learn for later. No, it won't. That's not relevant to the track at all. Never mind. So these buttons make stuff ha happen. Just avoid all these Goomba helmets. Goom helm Goombas. I I'm not quite certain. But here's the one we're talking about. The Golden Chain Chomp. He's so golden you can hear him twinkling. And that's some good gold, apparently. And, ah, oh, that's typical. So you see, if you don't do it in time, he explodes and respawns out of lava. So you've got to be kind of quick. Come on over here, Chompy. Good, good. Now I'm going to go much faster this time. Okay, long jump. There we go, for speed purposes. And weigh that down. Crush him, please. Thank you. Ugh. And I think this bit has no trouble. Yeah, he just goes up and around the wall for some reason. Seriously, he's just up on the wall. Well, actually... Gravity allows that to happen in this universe. Right, now you need to time this perfectly so that, boom, he goes right up here. And we're pretty much done. You can get out of here. Thank you. 
And I like how the hole is literally labelled for a chain chomp. But it's kind of sad that their entire existence is to explode in a golf hole. Hole. Now that was pretty good. It was pretty alright. I don't see anything to complain about there, Daz. And that's true. That is, of course, until... <sighs> until this next level comes up. Oh, we've got a... Oh, no. We haven't got a comet. we just got advancing opportunities. Oh, there's the comet I was... Yeah, of course. You know what? Fine. I will take that comet. I will do anything I can to make sure I don't do the second level in Chompworks Galaxy. So I will take that. Also, help wanted. I've got some cosmic old jobs I need done. Slack does need not apply. If you're ready to work, come to Bowl to Bowl Galaxy. I'll make it worth your while. Okay, Guillermo. Um, for some reason, yeah. I just realized I can make the thing move left and right. I don't think that has any purpose, but hmm. It happened because I accidentally dropped my remote and then I caught it again. But you wouldn't have noticed, except for the fact that it jiggled a bit. Well, I guess we're not doing that galaxy in this video, because, hmm. Well, goodbye. Where's this comet? It's here. All right. In the peaceful lands of World 3. I still love the music. And it's Bowser Jr.'s fearsome fleet. It's Mega Hammer's Daredevil Bash. By the titles, you can generally tell what's going to happen. So it's the Mega Hammer's boss fight, Daredevil Run. So you're only allowed to get hit zero times. You're not allowed to get hit. I don't know why I said you are allowed to get hit. That's weird of me to say. That's weird. And I can't cut, skip this cutscene. Oh my god, it's Bowser Jr. I would have never known it was him. Oh, don't you know when a quid? Enjoy the cockpit, Goran style match for Mega Hammer. Hey, look, it's that one thumbnail in that one video I made. Alright, and. Again with the weird music. But yeah, it's just the same boss fight, and I'm not even sure if I got here last time, so I'll. Stick to that. I'll, I'll stick to the plan of not getting hit. That's fine by me. Oh no, a big bonsai bill. And it didn't hit me. It's hitting these bits. It's not really much of a challenge, really. All it does is makes you have to jump at one point. Not too bad. Much of a problem. Okay, don't hit him. Good. And I missed. Okay, good. You see, this is one of those songs. And I'm kind of embarrassed to enjoy and have on my iPod because if like, because I spend like a lot of time walking around listening to music. If I was to just have this music playing on, and then I'm walking past people, I always end up pulling out one here, hit earphone, headphone, just to make sure people can't hear me. Because what would people think if they just noticed that that one awkward teenager in a hoodie walking past them is listening to? They'd probably think I'm a little crazy. I'm not entirely convinced that I'm not, but hey, I'm gonna die. Basically, the second time you play this mission, you can skip at any point. Alright, and we're back again, this time with more success. Hello! I actually had a bullet bill in my mouth there, but apparently he disappeared. Okay, that's fine by me, I guess. If I get rid of that one, grab this one, throw that up, and shoot. And there we go. I actually was kind of worried I'd get hit there. I forgot he spat, he like hits the ground the second time. Okay, hello. Goodbye. Hello. Whee! Oops. Whee! Oh, okay. I didn't flutter afterwards, I got a little confused. I was hoping I wouldn't die again. I never noticed he made that sound. Make it have was like raw, 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 raw. That's a pretty cool last word. Raw, 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 raw. And again with the little footsteps. Let's go get our star. Also, I just realized my pointer glitched for a second there. It sort of made two bits, I think. Odd. Yeah. 
64! And galaxy complete, so unfortunately we never have to go there again, even with the interesting boss music. But now that we've done that, let's go and talk to Boulder Bowl Gal- Let's just talk to an entire galaxy, that sounds about right. There we go. And we have a gear mode, asking for help, or asking for something. It's Rock and Roller Dillo. Alright, so before killing yourself, there we go, is the guy calling you. Hey, come here! Looking for a star? You won't believe it. I found a star and dump the update. Things people throw away. Maybe we can work out a trade. So, this is introducing a sort of pickup mission. I'm really into collecting those Goomba guys. Think you could bring me one? So, give me a Goomba. Yeah, sounds like some kind of slogan Nintendo would make. Give me a Goomba. Hashtag. Hashtag give me a Goomba. But yeah. You need to lure a Goomba over to this guy, and he will give you a star for it. Why? Dunno, he likes Goombas. That's really all you need to know, and he's not on this path. Don't get hit by the chain chomp. Okay, Mario, please actually start moving when I jump. Okay, there is a Goomba around here. I think actually he might be in one of the crystals, or something, in one of the rocks. So, let's just bust him out, shall we? There he is. I mean, there can be multiple ones of them, but come over here, Goomba, I need you. Now. I know it's hard, Goomba, but we're gonna learn to cross the road. Remember, look left, look right, then left again, then right, then left, then right, then left again. And you're gonna kill me, Goomba. Please don't kill me, Goomba. No! No, Goomba, no! Just come here. Goomba! Goomba! Come on, don't run! There we go! God, it's like Toy Story. Jesus. Yay! You got a thing. Ooh, look at this adorable little cute... Guy, so cute and ferocious, thanks. And the Goomba just disappears. <laughs> Rest in peace. Here you go, you, or here you go ahead and have this star. Go on, take it, you deserve it. It's an interesting mission, there's a couple of those in the game, so... Yeah, don't really know what to think of them, but they're there. And on that note, I'm going to win it off here. We got four stars today, and apparently we brought a little guy with us, or a power-up, or something new to the world. What do you have to say, lover? Yes, nine coins. It's very important. Oh boy! Tell me you didn't bring back a gamma with you this time. Well, put it somewhere out of the way. Hey, it's a she, actually. Maybe it'll want to relax for a bit. Actually... I guess it's a robot, it could just be agender. Is that the right word? Agender? I don't know. So yes, now we have a robot having tea. I guess. I have thanks again for all your help. Take this mushroom. Why did I say mushroom? I don't know. He sounds like Luigi, so that's a little odd. Anyway, my name's been Daz. You didn't really care, and I'll see you in a bit.